All right, so how do we automate our trades from TradingView to TradeStation? There's going to be a lot in this video, but we're going to go right through it. Okay, to start, we automate our trading. We have built a strategy in TradingView, and we're trying to get that automated so that we don't have to manually trade it at TradeStation. Right, yep. Our broker. And we use the micro futures. Uh, we can use the regular futures, like the E-mini, but we use micro futures uh, in most applications because of the account balance sizes. We start with the trading view strategy. Okay, let's go right through that. Here is our strategy. Here's This is actually one of the strategies, strategies that we use. It's on the QQQ ETF, but I'm going to explain to this in, here in a second. You'll notice that we have a strategy tester down here, and we have our uh, strategy name up here. Okay, when we click on that strategy a tester. Here's what the back test looks like for 24 years. All right, it has 1,300 uh, percent return over you know in the last 24 years since the year 2000, with the 14 percent max drawdown, and that's kind of like that's what we're trying to do with our trading. And we want to make sure that they know it's 1308. <clears throat> Yeah. Since, uh, since 2000, not yeah. 308. That's right. So I don't know if they're seeing oh, it that way. No, it's just this. That, that's just oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So the the important thing is that we see that strategy. It's This is working the way we want it. And once we have the strategy working the way we want it, now we can create our um, the connection between the two. Okay, so we click, see, so here's the strategy up here, the strategy name. You see this little gear box here, you're gonna wanna click on that, and then you're gonna see the settings. These are gonna be your settings and the inputs and then the properties, and we enter in our settings there, and then in our alerts, or if we scroll down in the uh, inputs, you'll see the JSON messages for the, uh, the code that we want to send the messages it's basically the instructions. The JSON code is here. And this is actually, uh, we, are going, we use Trader's Post, to, uh, and that's where these messages, these, this JSON is going to be going to Trader's Post, but I'll show you that here in a moment. You'll also notice that this chart we're using is on the QQQ, the ETF. That is, we use the QQQ on regular trading hours. We never trade our strategy over, uh, in the after hours. During regular hours, we use QQQ, and we use it to send the MNQ, the micro futures uh, uh, orders. Okay, so this is uh, now we've so, so inside of the strategy in trading view, we've created, we have our settings set, and we have our JSON in the in the inputs all set. Now we have to go back to the chart, right click and put and add add an alert. This is in trading view. We create, and under the condition, you actually would click this little drop down and click on the strategy on the, which will, will come up. It'll show you the strategies that are on that chart. You select the, the strategy um, that you want. And this is the message we would basically have. And it's basically saying, hey, look, trading view, look at the JSON inside of the message of the strategy or the messaging inside the strategy, the inputs. And then, and then that's under the settings tab. Under the notifications tab, we enter in a webhook, and that's from Trader's Post. It's a third party. So it's kind of going, how do we connect TradingView and TradeStation? We use a third party called Trader's Post. They give us the webhook. The webhook is grabbing our TradingView and connecting it to the TradeStation broker. Here is what Trader's Post looks like. Just from a user, you have your webhook uh, section, you have a strategy and subscription section, but basically we go into the Trader's Post, we click on view, we take a copy of the webhook from our strategy, and we then paste it inside of the webhook section inside of Trading View. And again, we do this on Again, this once you set it up, you, you don't have to do it again. It's just it's, this it's is just all the, that, that initial setup. Yeah, this is the initial setup. So <laughs> people who use Trading View, they do this a lot. And, and if you are familiar with Trading View and you do, you know, you set up lots of strategies, indicators, you're used to this. But if you're not, um, you know, this is actually I think helpful to see how that process works using Trader's Post. 
And we, so what we have, let me just go here forward here. We put in our, we put in our web hook and this is where really what the, the graphic looks like. We have, it's, this is how you get the hundred percent automation. You get the trading view to traders posts. And right now uh, we're showing you, you know, the trade station, but trade of eight is also available as a connection the trader traders post does connect to trade of eight. Boy, they weren't way. very creative. Were they come up with these names? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like a fourth name. Yeah. Uh, we, we've done several podcasts right now and that's yet a, a fourth um, entity that's got, it's got trade in it. So yeah. hopefully it's not confusing. The, so the trade of eight is a broker that does uh, futures trading. And for a lot of people out there, they, they're pretty the, trade of eight um, and ninja trader are, are now together. So they're now uh, they uh, it was Ninja Trader that I think purchased uh, Trade of Eight, or was it vice versa? Anyway, they're they're still branding separately. So, okay, look at the trading view entry met the long entry message here and the short or the, the 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 long exit message. This goes to Traders Post. Okay, so we take this JSON, it goes to Traders Post, and then. Traders post is in that second position. Then it takes it and sends that information to TradeStation this way. It takes it and then enters it in to the order. And this is all happening without your manual. Uh, it's without any any manual entry. And that is how we accomplish the trading view strategy automation. Trading view all the way to TradeStation as well. All right. Well, you covered a ton. Yes. So be sure to subscribe, comment, and like, and we'll be back. All right. Thank you, folks.